Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at how we can move from Lightroom to Photoshop to continue editing our images. Now I'm going to start here in the library module in Lightroom and I'm going to assume that I've already made all of the edits that I want to make to this image and now I'm ready to take it to Photoshop. But before we do that I want to take a look at our preferences. So under the Lightroom menu I'm going to choose preferences. If you're on Windows go to the edit menu and then select preferences and then choose external editing. Right up here, this top area is the area that we're going to look at. These are going to be the default settings or the settings that are used when I choose to edit in Photoshop. You'll notice that by default it's set to TIFF as the file format. You could also select PSD if you wanted to. It's really up to you as to which one you prefer. So I'll go ahead and change this to PSD and we can choose a color space. I'm going to choose Adobe RGB for now. That's probably the most common used color space today for people who are working with images for print. The Pro Photo is a much larger space and the sRGB color space is a smaller space which is great for output putting to screens or to the web. But for now I'll use Adobe RGB. It's just going to give me a little bit more range of colors when I'm editing. And for bit depth it depends on if you want to work with 8 or 16 bit. 8 bit is a smaller bit depth. Your file size will be smaller but you won't have as many colors to work with or as many tones to work with which means if you are going to make huge changes in Photoshop and for me personally whenever I do compositing it's nice to have the additional information in the file because the file won't break down as quickly. So it's up to you. 16 bits is going to be a much larger image uh, but you'll have more information to work with. And then as far as resolution, this is just the default resolution that you're going to set. You can always change this again in Photoshop. And of course you can change the color space and bit depth as well. So go ahead and set up your preferences the way that you want them. We'll close that and then use the photo menu to choose edit in and then we'll edit this in Photoshop. We can also use the keyboard shortcut Command E or Control E on Windows. If you're running the same versions of Camera Raw in both Lightroom and Photoshop, then you won't even see this dialog box. But for now, I'll choose Render using Lightroom. So Lightroom's going to create this pixel-based file and it's handed it off to Photoshop. Now, I can go ahead and make whatever changes that I need to. Let's say, for example, that I just want to select my custom shape tool and then under the default shapes here, I'm going to select this grid and then I'll click and drag to just add this grid over my image. So I'm just showing you that you can make a multi-layered document. Then when I save this image in Photoshop by going File, Save, and then I close this document by using File and then Close, and we return back to Lightroom, well, if I tap the G key to go to grid view, you'll notice that I now have two versions of the file. I have my original raw DNG file and I have the new edited PSD file. And if I click over here to deselect, you'll notice that they look a little bit different from the other images in my grid view. And that's because by default, they're stacked. Now, if you don't want your files to stack, all you need to do is go back to your preferences back to the external editing and down here just uncheck the stack with original. The other thing that I want to point out here that you can do is you can actually rename the files any way you want when you choose to edit in Photoshop. So what you might want to do is set up a custom file naming template by just going here to the edit menu and instead of using the dash edit which is the default, I like to use an underscore and then ME for master edited. Then in the preset area, I can save these current settings as a new preset. I'll just name it JCost and then file naming convention underscore ME so I know what it refers to and click create and then click done. Now the next time that I decide that I want to edit in Photoshop, Lightroom will hand off the files using the presets we set up before but it's no longer going to stack it with the original when it comes back from Photoshop and it's going to rename it based on my custom file naming template. All right, let's close the preferences and I just want to show you how to unstack these two images. If you don't want them stacked, you would just select them and then go under Photo, Stacking, and then Unstack. 
Now you can see that there are actually two individual images that won't stack on top of each other. So there you go, it's that easy to take your images from Lightroom to Photoshop, make edits, and when you're finished saving and closing the files in Photoshop, that new image, that PSD or TIFF file, will automatically be re-imported into your Lightroom catalog so that you can manage both files there. My name is Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.